Okay, we have a Excel file. It looks like this. Uh, it has all of the current elected officials in it for Hawaii. And we are going to import them into this table here, electeds. And this table has got 95 records in it. It's got all of Oahu and uh, the offices. Let me just quick see what the offices are. Select distinct office from electeds, and we see we have U.S. Senator, Oahu City Council. We do not have any of the neighbor island offices. So that's exactly what we're going to be importing. So that would be these down here, starting with Kauai and Maui and the Big Island. So first we will, to be safe, we shall make a copy of this. Let's do operations. And we're going to copy it, copy table to temp. And we copy it over, and we see now that we've got a electeds temp. So let's go to electeds temp. And it's the same table. And we're going to import. We're going to import, uh, let's prepare the file for import. Let's, this is the file. We are going to, we don't need these records down to here. We're going to delete these. Delete. And we can delete this blank record. And this blank record. And let's see, we can also delete the blank rows. Let's delete this row. That's not blank. This is blank. These three are blank. These two are blank. County councils are nonpartisan in Hawaii, so that's why we don't see a party. Okay. And we don't need any of these here. So these are all gone. Let's see, what else? Um, now we can simply save this. Save as. And let's save it on our desktop. And let's call it uh, electeds to import. That's a good name. Save it as a .csv. Click Save. And yes, that's fine. And uh, we see here is our, let me, here is our saved file. And so we need to modify this a little bit. Let's open this with Notepad. Oh, I think I need to close this first. Let me close this. Okay. Now let's open this with Notepad. And we see here's uh, our file. Nice. Um, take off the word wrap. See their nice records here. And let's go back to our import. So uh, let's. It turns out that we don't want the the column headings. So let's. We're going to import it CSV. It's going to be comma separated. We're not going to replace it. That's fine. Uh, we need some column names. So to do that, let's look again at our notepad. Uh, we're gonna we want these here. These are our column names. So let's copy that. We can cut it actually. Cut it and paste that here. And then we want to get rid of that. Get rid of the column headings. Let's save this again. And it's called electeds to import. And so now we can go up here and select that file. Uh, we want to go to the desktop and we can find electeds to import. And we see it here. 
and these are all set up so let's click go and we see it produced 25 queries all of these imports and now when we browse we see that there's 120 records and at the end here we can see that we've got our new records and that's it